Thanksgiving everyone here today. You know, yesterday we saw Joseph um, work to save food and prepare for the seven years of famine that were to come. Now the Bible says that to Joseph were born two sons. The first son he named Manasseh. And he named him Manasseh because it meant, For God has made me forget all my toil and all of my father's house. His second son he named Ephraim. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Joseph was thankful and had decided to name his children's names that would constantly remind them of what God had done for him. His sons would grow up with names that literally offered thanks to God. Through the blessings and favor of God, Joseph no longer spent his days lonely from the absence of a family. Now he had his own family. He didn't have to do the hard work of a slave or a prisoner. He was now the ruler of a mighty nation. And even though Joseph had suffered much in Egypt, God blessed him there, and Joseph was thankful. You know, Psalm 107.31 says, Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. You know, here in America, we have so much to be thankful for, and I'm sure most of you are spending some time with your families today, and I just want you to remember to be thankful for all that God has given you. Make a list. Write it down. If you don't think you have anything to be thankful for, as you begin to look at all that you have, all the blessings you have around you, and if you don't have wealth, if you don't have money, that's okay. Look around you at the loved ones you have, the people that care about you, and be thankful to God, because you know what? God put them there. Good things don't come from the devil. They come from Jesus Christ. And I just want to leave you with our verse for today. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you're struggling and you don't know what to do, you say you keep trying to find your way back to God and you don't know what to do, let me tell you where to start. Start by being thankful, because I promise you, by the authority of God's Word, it's God's will for your life. God bless you, and to all of my family, I want to wish you a very, very happy Thanksgiving, and I'm very thankful to be part of your family. God bless you, and we'll see you back here.